It's from Avon. It's really old, but it's what I have on now, and I just really like the way it makes my lips look. So, and it's actually like the perfect lip gloss for ASMR. So anyway, before we get into the video, I'm just going to let you guys know what it's all about. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys a story, and it's about a girl named Elisa Lamb, and she w disappeared and was found, and it's just, they don't know who killed her, they don't know, there's a lot of weird circumstances surrounding her death. So we're going to talk about that, and we are also going to smoke a little. I have my um, vape pen here. It has a THC cartridge in it. That is a ridiculous concentration of THC. Elisa Lamb. Elisa um, was from Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. She was a student and um, I'm not sure why, I'm sure there's a reason, but she came to LA, to Los Angeles. And for some reason, she stayed in the Cecil Hotel. And if you don't know what the Cecil is, um, it's changed its name since then. It's Stay on Main or something like that now. But anyways, it used to be the Cecil. And the Cecil was a really sketchy, shady place. And of course, someone from British Columbia would have no way of knowing that. So anyway, she was staying in this shitty hotel, and just to give you an idea of how shitty of a hotel this was, Richard Ramirez, the night stalker, actually stayed there for a period of time, probably while he was killing people. So, yeah. Anyway, she gets to LA, and she's staying in the Cecil, and I'm not sure how long she was there. I shouldn't have done more research. I'm not sure how long she was there, but there is a video, a very popular video, um, you can YouTube it right now, of, it's called, like, the elevator video, or elevator Lisa Lamb, if you Google that, or YouTube it, you will come up with the video. There's a video of her in the elevator at the Cecil acting really weird, acting like she's speaking to someone, but there's no one there. Um, there's been speculation that maybe there was someone right off camera that knew where the cameras were. It's, there's a thousand speculations of why she behaved the way she did on the, in this video. So, anyway, after that, she goes missing. Um, let's see. I know she was missing for like 19 days. Yeah, she was missing for like 19 days. So, she went to dis she disappeared on January 31st. And 19 days went by and the people that were staying at the Cecil started complaining of a 
foul smell coming out of their water, that their water was not right. So, eventually, the hotel staff has to hire people to come in and check the water supply. The water supply was four, I believe four, big water tanks that were on top of the roof. And um, they were four by eight feet, so they were big. And they were on top of concrete blocks on, under that and when the crew came to look at the water they had to use a ladder to get up there because there was no sorry there was no um way to get up there also the doors to the roof were locked that becomes important so it takes two men to lift off this heavy concrete cover of the of one of the water tanks and inside is Elisa dead and her clothes she was naked but her clothes were thrown in as well and she had been there <coughs> excuse me she had been there She had been there for 19 days in water, so she was moderately decomposed. Um, they said that her skin was not, you know, sticking to her body. You know what happens to an animal if it dies and you leave it in water, or it's been in water for a long time. They just bloat. So, anyway, let's see. Um, eventually, the um, coroner's report came back from the autopsy and the toxicology report and all that. It took them four months, four months to come back with an autopsy report. That was like, that's like unheard of. That's a ridiculous amount of time. And um, so they kept they kept putting it off they kept delaying it and eventually they delayed it for four months and then they came out with um the cause of death was drowning so that meant that she had been put into or fell into the tank while she was alive which was just a really shitty thought you know so um but they also ruled the cause of death accidental so, let's, let's explore that theory. She was probably smaller than I am. She was maybe 100 pounds soaking wet. The doors to the roof were locked, but the fire escape could have, she could have got up there using the fire escape. Again, you would have to be really, really desperate to get to the roof. Why not just jump out a window? You know? So, anyway, why the roof? So, anyway, she um, had to manage to get up to the roof. And then, somehow, with no ladder, um, no nothing, she got up on top of this water tank and moved a concrete blocker that it took two men to move when the workers came to look at the water. And then was like, <laughs> I'm felon. That's that's their theory. So I don't I don't buy that at all. I just um, and they threw out that she was bipolar and she had struggled with bipolar disorder. I know plenty of bipolar people when they are manic and when they are down, when they're depressed. I don't know a single bipolar person that could physically do that at 100 pounds, 
hundred pound little Asian girl. Come on. So, anyway, that was their um, cause of death, and it was questioned and questioned and questioned. And when they were questioned, they were very um, vague with their answers. They really didn't know was the gist. They they didn't know what happened. Um, they said there was no sign of rape. But there were some things about her body that led them to believe that maybe she had been sexually assaulted. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? So, eventually they released the autopsy report and everyone read the gruesome details. And it is gruesome. I mean, they could, it was very detailed. Almost, it was like... It's like they knew this was going to come under scrutiny, basically, is what I'm getting at. So, anyway, that was the cause of death, and that's how it remains to this day. The elevator video was released um, five days after her disappearance. Um, I think it was just by some little news station. didn't look up the theories, but I know that theory. <clears throat> I know that theory because I've heard it. My theory, <laughs> my theory is that someone that lived at or worked at the hotel killed her, probably raped her and killed her. Um, you don't remove someone's clothes and leave them with them if you're trying to throw off identity or something like that. He took off her clothes for a sexual purpose, I believe. And I also believe that she was probably alive when she went into the tank. Which is, like I said, that's a very, that's a terrible way to die. So, but again, that's just my opinion and that's just my theory. Um, everyone everyone has one <laughs> and you know I don't really know how accurate that theory is but after I was really interested in this case for a while and after like reading and watching shit on it and watching all these different theories like that's just kind of the conclusion that I came to because who else who else could get up on a concrete thing other than someone that had access to a ladder or some boost to get them up there because with the concrete blocks, I'm assuming they were at least another foot off the ground and they're four foot by eight foot. So, four feet by eight feet. I hate people say that. But anyways, so they had to get up on top of that and I just don't know how else someone could have managed that unless they were extremely extremely tall and they just like pushed her up there and then climbed up but I don't think I don't think my brother could do that and he's six 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 seven something like that I don't think he could climb up there so I mean if you look picture look at pictures of the water tanks like they're huge. They're huge. They look huge from the sky while the workers were, like, removing her. Um, they had to actually remove the top of the water tower, so the pictures are kind of... Um, because they couldn't fit the equipment that they needed to, like, lift her body. Not to be morbid, but they didn't want her body to fall apart. So, they want to get it all in one swoop. That's, that was, I said not to be morbid, and then I said something really, really morbid. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah, that's what happened. And I don't really think that they will ever solve it. I don't think that they, um, I don't think that the officials in LA wanted to solve it. I think they had no fucking clue. I think they were like,